Just want to give a big shout out to all my members. I really, really appreciate that. If you want to join, hit that join button, man. I'm going to do some giveaways, start doing some stuff for the members, man, because I really do appreciate everybody. It really helps out the channel. And I love everybody like Step Cousins. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And as always, be good to yourself, man. Hell freaking Transformers. Yeah. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Or night and welcome back to my channel as always i'm deluxe all right let's do another freaking transform review and before i start off big big shout out to my boy jason c uh he went to tfcon and he was able to pick this guy up for me and i really really appreciate it man big big shout out to you guy man thank you so much so once again we'll be taking a look at this is the tfcon 2023 uh la you know thing this is uh uh, this is MMC. This is Mastermind Creation. I almost forgot who it was. Uh, Ocular Max. This is the Motif or the Rewind. And look at that. Love the box art. It looks really good. Got the little speaker for like Blaster or Twin Cast, whichever one. You got over here the top of this. Um, Ocular Max. Love, love the display. It does open as well. It's got like a little, little magnet or something. Uh, maybe not magnets. Yeah, yeah, the magnets. Okay, you got this. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if Jason threw the sticker in if it came with it, so it's pretty cool. Nice little Autobot sticker. And there he is, displayed. Great display. That is awesome. If you didn't want to, you know, take it out and mess around with it, you could just display it like that. It looks freaking awesome. And there's underneath. So I think that's Twin Cast with the blue and the red. And there you go. So there he is. So let's open this little fella up and see what he comes with. All right, first things first, he does come with a collector card. It is just paper, really thin. It says Remix, uh, Ocular Max Motif. And then on the back, you do got some stats. And if you want to read this, pause for the calls. All right, there you go. Very cool. Now, he does have like a little slip cover. That's cool. That's pretty cool. It's got the, you know, the die cast, the... Motif right there, and it opens up, and it's actually the instructions, just like the other ones. Um, and here is the tape holder, or cassette holder, and it does fit in there. That's pretty cool. Take him out right now, and put him over to the side. Very nicely done. This It came in like this, so that's how it is. And like I said, this is the instructions. So I guess you can open it up like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice little slip cover thing. Paid for life. Big shout out to that guy. Yeah, it kind of goes in like, I guess it goes in like this. Let me see. Put it back in. I think it goes in like that. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool way to do it. Okay. Comes with two guns. Very nicely done. Nice little copper uh, paint to them like that. And the black is painted too as well right there, I think. So that's very nice. And you can flip down the handles. And there you go. Nice sculpt work in there. You get two of those. Now you get three head sculpts as well. Very nicely done. You got the nice red paint. Nice metallic blue visor. Looks good. You got the kind of the uh, just staring face kind of going on right there. And you got a like a smirking one as well. Beautiful metallic blue there. I like that. And you got the screaming face, because, you know, you had to have a screaming face one. Awesome. Now, since this was a TFCon exclusive, it did come with some extra parts. So these are the shoulder pads. You get two of these black pieces right here. And then they will go over that, those two pieces. And kind of, you know, you got the 80s woman's working shoulder pads, which I'll show you that in bot mode. You get those two. Then you get another head sculpt. Kind of the, I guess, the IDW version one. But once again, it's got the nice red, you know, face right there and the metallic blue eyes. So you get a total of four. Um, now, I'm sure this stuff right here will not come with the regular release. Like I said, this is part of the uh, exclusive. So you get four head sculpts, and that's pretty cool. All right, here is the tape mode. I'm not going to talk very much about it, but it looks freaking awesome. Love the paint, all that red, the silver, the black. 
It is die cast, like you saw on the uh, box and everything. So it's got a nice weight to it. But it looks like a nice tape. I like that. The metal position. Then on the back, you do got, you know, it doesn't really look like a tape back there. But it looks good. Got the gold and everything. But yeah, very nicely done. You can see the head right there popping out or a little bit. You know, but, you know, if you want to display it in the uh, cassette mode, definitely put it in the... Uh, you know, cover and it'll look really good. But yeah, it looks really nice. I love that paint. It looks so good. So there you go. Not much to it. There is the tape mode. And there's Alternator's Hot Rod. You got Red Alert, Wheelie, Magic Square Prowl, and New Age Grimlock for some scale. He's a big old tape. All right, back from transformation. Here is TFCon exclusive MMC Rewind or Motif, whatever you want to call them. This thing looks freaking awesome. I love it. Now, this is the head sculpt it comes with. Like I said, it comes with three other ones. I think this is, I looked at some pictures, some anime uh, animation pictures uh, from the cartoon. This looks more G1. This looks like the G1 version. Um, I think this might be the IDW version more. And then uh, you got three other ones that might, you know, are also the IDW ones that come with it. Um, you know, it does come with, you know, uh, other set. This is the set of shoulder pads to come with. Now you, I thought you might could put these on here, but they will not fit. Cause there's a little, um, thing sticking out right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. Hopefully you can. So it will not fit on there. So you just take this off. And if you want to put the other, uh, you know, uh, shoulder pads, and then these will go over that one and you can display and I'll show you some different, you know, when pictures and everything, you'll see the difference. All right, here he is. Once again, you got the kind of the red face. Beautiful metallic blue eyes. Love that. As far as articulation, you can look down a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You can look up, not much. Wish you could look up a little more because uh, he does have an ab crunch side to side. And, you know, the uh, attitude look right there, not much. So kind of wish they would have maybe cut that out right there a little bit so you can look up more. All right. Now, the only issues I really have the biggest issue are these things right here. They don't uh, tab in anywhere, so when you manipulate him, you know, you're moving him around, these things will start to, uh, you know, start spreading out and everything, so kind of wish they would have tabbed those in a little bit better, or tabbed them in at all, so. Um, the arms look good, so you got up to here, you get 90 degrees, but you can also go up to there, too, so you can smell his armpit, so that's very nice. You can go all the way around. You do got a nice, looks like a double elbow. Let's see if I don't have it. All the way up okay yeah so well shoot okay yeah so it's got a weird kind of thing going on so it's got this little nice thing right here then 
you can go up right there so yeah you gotta spread it out a little bit it does got a bicep swivel and that's cool uh with the hand it's all on one pin all four fingers right there and the thumb will not move so that's cool and then these things will they're not uh tabbed in either so they will start moving around either so i kind of wish these were tabbed in and those things would tab into as well all right got the nice gold right here you got the gold right here right for the crotch area looks good got some abs going on so he's been doing some sit-ups waist swivel like i said he does have a ab crunch uh forward and back so that's good but it kind of just i wish he could look up because it kind of just defeats the purpose of having an ab crunch so but anyways flip these up you can van them all day no uh ratchets but they are tensioned very tightly uh you do have this hip skirt and kick up to there kick back you do have a thigh swivel very nice you got a beautiful knee bend love that looks good and you got some filling in stuff right there so that's pretty cool like i said it does have die cast all this right here is die cast you can feel it it's nicely weighted all right so you got a kind of a toe tilt up not much down and you got a rocker it's not huge it's just the you know design right here kind of wish they would these had like a hinge or something maybe so you could have moved up moved with it and gave you a bigger rocker because you could actually get a bigger rocker there but it's just these things get in the way all right and the back of it looks really nice clean very nice there you go i like it all right there you go all right with the weapon you just flip this down if you want to and you just put it in the hand right there and he holds it just fine and you also can put it on his back like i said this doesn't this doesn't tab in that well as well so this is gonna be a little pain in the butt sometimes too uh you can uh flip these down again and you can put them right here in this little hole right there and you can have him hold them like this too as well so that is pretty cool now with the head basically we could do you can unscrew it that's on a ball peg and you can unscrew that a little bit and then you can take that off and replace that and with the shoulder pads i'll show you real quickly let me get this guy let me get this gun out okay so you can just take the uh shoulder pad see they just move out they just move around all willy-nilly see if i can get this out on camera so you basically just take that off and then if you want to replace it with this one uh, let's see how we do this okay like that and there's the differences of the shoulder pads and then you can take this one and make it really the 80s woman shoulder pads and 80s woman working shoulder pads and do it like that so you can have different see ah, that's yeah i wish that tabbed in i really do because that gets annoying but there you go there's the difference between the shoulder pads oh i forgot to mention during uh articulation he does have a butterfly kind of a butterfly kind of just like ooh, ooh, look at my chest ladies ooh, ooh. so i mean that is you know it's a little butterfly so i'll give it to him that's pretty cool kind of put it in it together real quick there's mp44 you got mp side swipe you got the uh generation toy side swipe with the you know transformed into a bull we got tits mcgee over there then we got uh core class wheelie for some scale and crapper gunners crappy tool paper triple a battery carmex care bears kicker squeaks for more scale All right, let's talk about some MMC. This is Motif or their Rewind. This was a TFCon LAX, you know, exclusive. Man, 
This thing is freaking awesome. I love when MMC puts out stuff, man. Come on, protective bots. Let's get the rest of those out. But I like the tape mode. Love the display. Love all the extra heads and the guns are painted really nicely, you know, done well. Uh, you get the extra shoulder pads and the extra head as well for being at TFCon. Uh, once again, thank you so much, Jason. Really appreciate that. Transformation easy. Shouldn't be that hard to figure it out. The legs are kind of a little bit wacky, but they're, they're not hard at all. But yeah, overall, great transformation. Bot mode looks wonderful. The paint looks great. The articulation, wish it had a uh, a better a rocker. And um, I wish the head could look up a little more because it does have an ab crunch. But overall, articulation is great. Material feel good. Didn't think I was going to break anything. Biggest issue I have with it is the chest and the back pieces and the arm pieces do not tab in at all. So they're going to, you know, they're, when you're manipulating him, it's going to go all willy nilly and it really gets, uh, you know, annoying after a while. But other than that, this thing is freaking awesome. Uh, I don't know if they have any uh, available yet, but, uh, you know, when they do the re or the issue out the other one, you know, I definitely would get this one. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking MMC and hell freaking Transformers. Good night, folks. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Just a quick question. Who has MMC as their favorite third-party company? Um, not my favorite, but they're up there. And I try to get everything from MMC, man. I missed out on quite a few things, but uh, I'm going to try to go back and get some stuff. But, man, every time they put out something, I have to get it. It's awesome. Especially these tapes here. They're really awesome. I like them, man. Can't wait for Eject. Um... Still, Jaw was okay. He was fine. Uh, Transformation was a pain in the butt. Um, but, yeah, I hope we get Ramhorn 2 as well. These are They're doing a really good job. And I want the Protective Boss. Like I said, I want a Defensor. I think I can't. I may go back and get Bruticus. I mean, that's how good I'm. I just love MMC, man. They really do a great job. And uh, really good on this. Uh, you know, I, I know, like I said, I'm in my in, you know, in thing. Um, I don't know if they have any left for the TFCon. They may. Uh, you may have to get on the website. I think to uh, Toy Dojo is selling many ways. Uh, get on Toy Dojo's site and I uh, check and see if they have it. But um, they should be re releasing him without the extra stuff. Uh, but I would definitely get this guy. He is awesome. He's fun. Man, they did a great job on this one. So, yeah. Very nice. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Anybody making the TFCon? Alpha Bravo? Yeah. I'm, I pissed off a lot of people. Yeah, well, we expect that. So, yeah. Very nice. Floor time. You gotta love it. Definitely go get this guy when he's released.